One day back in middle school, I'm like 12 years old, my dad comes to me, he's like, get ready, I'm taking you to the car dealership and I'll buy you a car because you're about to turn 16. We get to the car dealership and he's like, okay, whatever car you pick, your mom's gonna drive it for the next four years, and then when you turn 16, it's yours. So then he tells me my budget is $12,000. I felt like I was in a rap video. So my dad buys the car, and here's where the problem starts, because in my mind now, I'm thinking, that's my core. I'm just letting my mom borrow it. So one day my boy Robbie comes over to spend the night and we're in my bedroom and I look at him and I'm like, we gotta start living our lives a quarter mile at a time. Let's go downstairs, get my mom's keys, and go for a ride around the block. And Robbie's like, okay, turn upward. So my parents' room is on one side of the house and the garage is on the other side of the house. So we wait till like 2 a.m. when my parents are sleeping, we creep downstairs, we go over to the keys and we gotta be all silent. I'm like Indiana Jones, like taking the artifact and like swapping out the keys with a sandbag, right? We go in the garage, open it, boom, we're cruising around the block. I'm driving for the first time. I even burnt some songs from video games. So we're like rolling around the block, listening to Grand Theft Auto soundtrack so it feels like we're in the game I look over at Robbie and I'm like Robbie get on the roof bruh BAM flying around the block at like 30 miles an hour don't try this at home though uh, you know we're trained video game professionals y'all kids if y'all try this y'all might die anyways fast forward a few months it's my birthday every year my mom gets me a hotel room and I invite a bunch of my boys over me Robbie Paul Josh and my boy Eric so I get all my boys in a circle and I'm like yo tonight when my mom and my sister go to sleep, we're gonna take my mom's keys and we're gonna go for a ride. And all my friends are like, oh my god, oh my god, bro, bro, dude, you're such a gangster. I know, right? So my mom and my sister fall asleep and I just hold my hand up and the keys fly out of my mom's purse and fly into my hand like I'm a Jedi. We grab a room key, we go out to the car, boom! We out here getting this paper, cuz. I'm blasting Mario Kart music and I look over at Robbie and I'm like, let's raise up a Mogian on these foos. You think they ready for level two? Shoo, they better get ready. We live our lives a quarter mile at a time, cuz. Robbie jumps out, jumps on the roof. Everybody's like, oh my God, you guys are crazy. So I turn a corner, drive down, and guess what I see? A rent-a-cop security guard, and it's a dead end. He looks up, I'm like, I did my nickel. I ain't going back. I panic, put it in reverse, so I'm not looking back, and then all of a sudden, boom! I hit the pole, Robbie goes, blub, 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 blub. he rolled off the back. Eric is like, Robbie, no! I'm like, Eric, focus, Robbie's dead. He's off to a better place now. His problems are over. We still gotta get through this. I look in the rear view, I don't even see Robbie anymore. Security guard, he jumps in his golf cart and he starts chasing after us. Then all of a sudden the passenger door flings open, Robbie's holding his side and he jumps in. I slam on the gas, everybody's freaking out, but see I'm cool. In Grand Theft Auto, I'm used to like four or five stars. This is like maybe, this is half a star right now. So there's like seven of these hotel buildings in this one complex. We pass our building, cause you don't want to be obvious, so we park two buildings away, right? We get out and we hide in the bushes. So we're getting all Tom Clancy, jumping from bush to bush, working our way back to the building. And we see the security guard standing next to his golf cart with his hands on his hip. He's like, mm. the steam is coming out of his ears. We're on the other side, we sneak past, rush up the stairs to our room, boom. Mission complenished. Fast forward a few weeks, my mom's taking me to school. She walks around the back of the car and she notices a dent and she's like, what is this? Uh, uh, well, mom, you don't, you don't remember how we got that? No, when did this happen? There's a line going down the back of the bumper. There's paint missing. You don't remember? We were, we were, we went grocery shopping, right? And we got hit with the, 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 with the shopping cart. I think I would have remembered that. Yeah, no, no. Oh, you went into Publix and I stayed in the car and then a lady, I, I thought I told you. Oh, man. My B. Wait, wait, no. I think, okay, no, no, that sounds a little familiar. Okay. Oh, okay, I remember now. So yeah, moms, I got a little confession. Now you know how we really got that, you know, that little ding in the back of our car. What are you, are you about to eat him? Why is he wrapped up like a burrito? I had to put his eye medication in. Oh. Uh...